Right, so welcome back, everyone, to a new episode of Radiant Historia. We were just kind of uh, getting some rust. And just rusting, you know, we were kind of rusty, so we were just breaking off the rust on the last episode. Uh, I don't think that last fight should have been as bad. So I think what we're going to do, we're going to split timelines this episode. We're going to go back to the other timeline so we can not get molly whopped all right so we're gonna go back to the other timeline in which we haven't really made too much progress in but i think we're gonna probably be forced to go back any or uh, anytime soon so we we should definitely go back while <laughs> while we should you know we don't want to get bodied by these uh ice blocks <laughs> out here getting bodied by glaciers dude unfortunately Hugo has declared on behalf of Noah that this is a holy war of salvation. But in reality, he's trying to achieve his dream of conquering the whole continent. That's such a silly dream. I want to conquer a whole continent. Yeah, because for whatever reason, this... Yeah, I don't know why. I'm just evil, dog. It's safe to assume that he's beyond the stage where he can be negotiated with. This guy needs to be assassinated. Let's just assassinate him. Hmm thought until now that the war would end when either side won that it wouldn't matter if it was great nor alistair but it seems i was mistaken sad to say that there are times when the end of one war is only the beginning of another it's pretty sad to be honest it's shameful but such is the history of mankind indeed these troubles wouldn't arise if they could coexist with Without each other, side and fear about the other, yeah. Baranka, speak up, we can't hear you, you're an old man. Well, we're finally involved in this strife too. True enough. Hugo must know by now that the Vigilante Corps skirmished with Alistair's troops. Why do you have to say it like that? They attacked us! She looks like a pure elf. She looks totally pure, guys. Her design look makes her look totally pure and innocent. Mm. I know that, and you know that. But to him, it doesn't matter who instigated the battle as long as it took place. All who oppose Hugo will be crushed forcefully. Alistair now has the excuse they wanted to begin an invasion. <laughs> it's no longer about waiting for the incident that will start hostilities. We're past that point now. Patriarch Baranka, you must make a decision. I don't think I'll ever get war, war politics. Like, this shit is just like, come on, man. Didn't they teach you to treat others the way you would want to be treated? I mean, obviously not. Y'all killing each other. I guess that's how you want to be treated, right? Since you want to kill other people, maybe I should kill your people and you. Hmm? <laughs> to fight Alistair with the meager forces of our village. Is that what you're asking of me, Raul? Yes. The fight on false 
like knowledge is so messed up like oh we're fighting because yeah these guys are going to attack us first it's like no it's not even like that we don't you know no man we gotta go kill these dudes before they kill us it's like but it's not like that they're not even bothering y'all we don't care ah, ah, i don't want to die so i'm gonna go kill it's like oh my god the only other choices are to continue closing off the village or to admit defeat how can we do that the humans are saying flat out that they'll exterminate us. It's really messed up, man. It's it's, scary. it's a scary thought process, if you think of it like that. Violence is circular. It's just so messed up. Like, at some point, people just gotta stop if they wanna just break that cycle, my guy. Even if we throw down our weapons, all that'll be waiting for us is... No, no. You didn't go on, Elm. Everyone understands. Put your titties back in your bra. No, seriously, Damn, they're popping Hugo. out. <laughs> <clears throat> this village is completely reliant on our allies in the outside world for resources. If those allies are exterminated, this village will perish shortly after. I mean, I guess Thanos had a point. Maybe Thanos was, was correct all along. Even if we continue to wait, our situation will not improve. Hmm. What to do, what to do. I may be pressing you too hard on this. I doubt you'll be able to make a sound decision under these conditions. Well then, why don't we take a break for now? Hmm. Yes, I'm sorry, but that would be most appreciated. I will continue to think upon it. Understood. Alright, let's all breathe easy for a while. Stay here if you like, or take a walk around outside. We'll resume the talks when the time is right. When the time is right. That sounds like uh, something I'm gonna have to trigger. Stock is now alone. Alone. Just like the, you know, dead people that die alone. They die alone. Hey. No, a like friend asked me for oh. one. She said she knew how to grow them. Oh yeah, I think we did this, Cyclist. <sighs> All right, let's definitely save it. All right, so we didn't, to my knowledge, we didn't create a new point in the history. So we're gonna keep going with this until we create a door that we can warp back into. So I guess I just gotta talk to everybody. Say, What does time carry away? Uh, life? I don't yes. know. You don't understand it's fine. The legendary martial artist. We're probably gonna have to fight him. <laughs> this is a mana crystal. If you want one, it's gonna set you back 5,000 G. I don't need it. I don't need it. Rosh. Sonya, you still thinking over Rosh? Try not to get too worked up. Yeah, Sonya. we've seen this already. We should be able to fix Rosh's gauntlet if we can get our hands on some new core parts. But Stock, is that really what's best for Rosh? I don't know, Wendy Lee. Let me go ask around. The humans tried to kill us, just like that other time. <sighs> humans are truly terrifying creatures. You are the stuff of nightmares. No one's even doing anything wrong to you. You just want to kill people. You just, you just want to own everything for no reason. You have no right. Hey, this room is yours to use. The village mayor said to set it aside for you. Well, what are you going to do? Are you going to stay here? Rest. <laughs> just don't trash the place. And then they kill you in the middle of the night, and then you game over. Hey. You should have thought, you sh like you should have known better. Stock game over. Like that had been. I'm wait. I'm waiting for the game that does that to you, where you sleep at the wrong time, and then they kill you for it. You get a game over. They punish you for literally mess, uh, for sleeping at the wrong time. Before we headed to Alistair, I had my assumptions about its leader. I knew Hugo had his own motives, but. I never imagined it would stretch outside the human lands. But after hearing him speak, I changed my way of thinking. And? I wish I can grow a beard like this man. I now see Yaka. him as someone blinded by his own ambitions. He cannot see anything else. Look at that man's beard. It's so fresh. To him, human lives are like pebbles. He kicks them around and doesn't even notice. He'll put the entire world in jeopardy without realizing it. 
He must be stopped. Like, I don't understand it. Like, you do all this stuff that affects the world, and you want to live, and it's like, you know you got to live on this world too, my guy. So it's like, <laughs> eventually, your, your little dumbass decisions are going to catch up with you. Even if Celestia decides to stand and fight, we still don't have nearly enough equipment or military might to win. See, that's why we got your Radiant Historia book, my guy. The White Chronicles. Maybe if it's just Celestia, it'd be an impossible battle. But if Cygnus helps, it's not so bleak. If we can get organized and enlist their help, we might stand a pretty good chance. Hugo's attention is currently directed towards them in Granorg. We'll strike from the back, and Cygnus can surround him. Strike from the back, my boy. Yet. Hmm? We could form the greatest of armies, but it would take a strong commander to lead it. Hasn't that been your job this whole time? I built the foundation for the army, but I never planned on leading it to war. We need a battle-hardened commander to organize the troops in battle and keep morale up. I'm not a good fit for that job. But if I'm asked to do it, I won't ignore duty's call. Let's talk to Elm. Hmm. I'm sorry, I just want to think by myself right now. I thank you for helping us earlier. Yeah, no problem, Elm. Without your aid, there may have been more serious injuries or casualties. That sounds like a Makoto. What are you going to do now? Patriarch Baranka will choose a course of action, and I will obey. That sounds like Queen. Hey, Queenie. If he tells me to fight, I will fight. Whatever Baranka decides, I shall obey. All right. Repopulate with the human species. What? Baranka? I'm not doing that. And that's how hentai starts. Will you be able to defeat that evil Hugo man? Hugo man. Hugo man. His voice. It was so cold. If he comes back to this village, he's going to kill everyone. Even my grandpa and Elm. Damn, she even knows. She knows. So please stop. Please defeat that evil man. All right, I got you. I wish it was that simple. But I can't stop him alone. Then everyone should help. We just need to get a lot of friends together. And we can crush that meanie Hugo. Yeah. Veronica, you done yet? Hmm. All right, talk to everybody. We'll defeat Hugo and save everyone. You can do it, Stock. Come on, Stock. We have a decent battle plan and we have a chance of winning. What we don't have is an excellent commander who can utilize our plan. So we need Rosh. The Rosh Rosenberg. Rosenberg. Rosh. Come on. Let me actually go talk to Rosh really quick. Lieutenant General Raul is safe, or so I hear. Yeah. If he stays in Celestia, Hugo won't be able to touch him. He should be able to live quietly here, too. Hey, man. The last thing on Rosh's mind right now is fighting. I have to wait. I'll get my chances sooner or later. I need to go hear what Raul has to say. Uh, we talked to all the main characters already. Baranka now? <sighs> hmm. In times like these, doing nothing is not defense, it's surrender. All right, he's got a new mindset. Say. Sir Raul. Hmm. Huh? Yes, I'm here to listen. <clears throat> Raul, you were speaking with Stock a moment ago. Is it true that Cygnus would extend a hand if we made the decision to rise up? Cygnus will definitely make a move of some sort. Actually, they've already begun. Their army has gathered near the desert town of Scala, west of the Judgment Cliffs. They are only waiting for King Garland's command. King Garland, that is such a rough and tough. That's a rougher than the rest of them type name. Garland? Who else names was Garland? Final Fantasy IV had a, a villain slash anti-hero named Garland, right? Hmm? How can you be so sure? I heard you have been hounded by the army and forced underground. Some alliances can only be forged when one is underground. Because I had been hunted by Alistel, I began contacting a certain individual. One who was also being pursued by their country and is seeking refuge in Cygnus. Oh, I bet I know who it is. 
It's the princess. Uh -huh. So Cygnus is making a move on this person's urging? I, who would I even have such influence? I cannot say. I promised them I'd divulge their identity to no one. But I guarantee you that this person can be trusted. Hmm. I believe you've given me enough to work it out on my own. Uh -huh. Interesting. If we're thinking of the same person, then indeed, they mustn't be identified. They made me a solemn promise. Solemn promise? That sounds like a Yu-Gi-Oh trap card. If Celestia decides to rise up, <laughs> they'll work to bridge the gap with Cygnus. Solemn promise. <laughs> Prevents special summoning on the field. I'm sorry that Celestia has been dragged into this. Not at all. You did well to look so far ahead. Indeed. We cannot just sit and wait for our village to be overrun. Still, the vigilante corpse is meant to be uh, meant to fight lone monsters that approach the village. Mm. Elm is a strong warrior, but she has no experience in battle, especially not against humans. <sighs> Can we truly hope to match them? Mm. I understand mm. what you're saying, Patriarch Baranka. Fighting an organized army with well-honed tactics is different from dispatching a monster. Mm-hmm. It's rough. Hmm. I thought at first to have Elm command the men, but that may not be the best. But who else would have battle experience as well as the ability to command troops? Rosh! Stock, why don't you do it? Nah, I ain't doing that. That's not, nah, I'm the main character. I ain't got time for that. Absolutely not. It's one thing to assist a commander, but I could never actually do it myself. We're not really CO material ourselves either. Hmm, in that case, how about Rosh? Is he well enough to lead? That man hasn't had the will to fight since he lost his Thaumatec arm. Yeah. You mean his gauntlet? It's broken? I had heard he was severely injured, but I didn't think it was as bad as that. Indeed. The fire of his will to fight is fading. Though after hearing of all he suffered, I can understand. To lose so much of what was precious to him all at once. Fate can be cruel indeed. Yeah, indeed. It truly can. But there's no question that he'd be the one most suited to this. I assume they're going to make me make a choice and I have to choose Rosh. And if I don't choose Rosh, that's a bad ending. Hopefully they give me um, a point to where I can transport back to here. Wait a sec. You're not still thinking of making the captain your commander, are you? That's ridiculous. Even if his wounds are healing fast, he almost died not too long ago. I was shocked when I saw him after I got here. He was like a different person. I'm against this. If you're gonna go through with it, I'm out! Well, Rainy says she's done. Rainy, calm down. She said, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. <sighs> it's true, a field commander will be needed to lead the novice warriors of Celestia. The success of the operation depends on the skills of his commander. I have to think about this one carefully. Nominate Raul. Should I really have Raul command the men at the front lines? Nominate Raul. I believe Raul should be the one to command this operation. All right, I'll do it. It's been years since I last stood on the battlefield. Maybe I can be of some use again. I couldn't stop General Hugo at Alistel, and I, I still feel responsible for that. All right, I feel you. I won't allow the Satteros to be placed in harm's way. I'll stand with them on the battlefield. I'll do what I can as well. Gotta do what you gotta do. <clears throat> I'll be counting on you, Raul. Everyone, let's do whatever we must to defend Celestia. Led by Raul, Celestia emerged victorious in battle after battle, thanks to his tactics. Celestia seemed unstoppable, but overconfidence proved to be their downfall. Bruh, they lost because of overconfidence? While commanding the troops from the front lines, Raul was killed by an assassin's bolt. Without him, Celestia's forces were left in tatters and were soon annihilated. That's what y'all get for being overconfident. Afterwards, Stock and the others faced a long, slow path to defeat. Bruh. My dude got sniped. Come on, I told y'all about Widowmakers and Hanzos. Y'all gotta watch out for Hanzos. They ain't have no tank. 
They ain't have no tank. They try to beat it without a tank. That's why they need Rosh. Rosh is basically a tank, and they need a tank, man. Assassination of Raul. <laughs> Damn, Shatter Steel Arm has been added as a node. You've returned stock. You returned stock, like always. Come on, man. You should know better than this, man. You made the right decision as a military man. But it seems this time, destiny played its hand, and your choice fell short of saving the world. Raul wasn't ready to be the commander at the front line. <laughs> he wasn't ready. <laughs> His strength lies in strategy and planning from the rear. The Wayward Lion would have been a better contender for this job, if only he could find his way. Stock, you need to find the key to your best friend's heart. Shall we record the actions you've taken so far, just in case? <laughs> just in case? I swear they be trying to ro they be roasting you, dude. Like, come on, bro. You should have known better than that, dog. You know it was gonna happen. All right, time to go back. White Chronicle. Yeah, bad ending. Yada yada. What was this one? Battlefield missile. The boy. Oh yeah, we gotta go back in time and deliver the charm before everything that happened at the uh, the stormtrooper palace or the sand palace. <laughs> yeah, I'm overconfident. Yeah. Poosh. And they get shot like, oh no, we lost one guy. Hmm. So this country will become about, yeah, skip. I think I got to talk to everybody again. Hmm. Yeah, I got to talk to everybody again. Right, I got to talk to everybody. Before we headed to Alistair. Before we uh, head to Alistair. Uh, I, I thank you for help. Without your aid. There may have been more serious injuries or casualties. Huh? This is new? What are you going to do now? Patriarch Baranka will choose a course of action, and I will obey. If he tells me to fight, I will fight. Huh? Why Even did if they, Celestia they didn't let me see. I guess she was just optional then. She was optional. So I didn't really have to talk to her. But I do have to talk to those three, as well as your boy right here. Lieutenant General Ro So I gotta pick Rosh here. Rosh, please listen. Listen to your heart. Say. What it's telling to yes. you. Listen to your heart. <coughs> I nominate Rosh. Is Rosh really the best choice to lead the man into the battle that's about to begin? All right. I'll do it. No, wait a second. It's been years since I last stood on the battlefield. Maybe I can be of some use again. I couldn't stop General Hugo at Alistel, and I, I still feel responsible for that. I won't allow the Sateros to be placed in harm's way. I'll stand with them on the battlefield. Wait. Wait. Yes. I'll talk to Rosh. <laughs> Stuck. You too, Stock? Aren't you his best friend? Rainy, relax. Have you forgotten, Keel? And the others in the brigade? I can't let this battle end like that. And I'm sure Rosh would feel the same. Even so. I need to find out if that suspicion is true. Stock, don't push him too hard. Rosh is staring up at this tree like, man. I wish I had Back anime again. powers. <laughs> the situation's changed. I wish I was a good unit. Alistel is going to invade in the very near future. I wish I wasn't so useless in the game and in the plot of the game, too. We intend to meet them <laughs> head on. Gameplay-wise, he's kind of ass. Like, compared to everybody else, he's, he's pretty ass, man. Maybe he'll grow to get some really good skills. <gasps> what? Don't even think about it. It's not like running down wild animals. These will be well-trained, well-organized soldiers. The people here will be massacred. Lieutenant General Raoul suggested that he lead the fight. I vetoed him, though. You and I know that the Lieutenant General's strength is in tactics. He shouldn't be on the field. What we need right now is a commander with actual battle experience. <laughs> Are 
you saying I should do it? We need an actual commander, my guy. <sighs> Sonia says she doesn't want you to fight anymore. She lost her brother in battle. I'm sure she's afraid of the same happening to you. If you're going to say that the hope everyone's pinned on you is too much, then there's nothing I can do about that. But is that really what you think? Are you really going to give it all up? I didn't give anything up. It gave up on me. Bruh. Lion is casting mad shade on Rosh, so that means he's going to become the best character soon. 50 bits, thanks for the bits. I don't know. That tends to happen a lot in these playthroughs. I'll talk shit about a character and they end up being really godlike. So you know what? I'm talking shit about everybody in this game. And, and maybe they'll surprise me. I've lost all the subordinates I was meant to protect. My gauntlet's lost too. It's over. All over. In the end, it doesn't even matter. Is there no way to get through to you, Rosh? If that's so, I'll smack you up. Whoa. I wouldn't recommend pressing him too hard right now, Stock. If you're patient with him, he may eventually have a change of heart. Oh, baby, we changing hearts out here. But should you bring him to the battlefield when he's not at full strength? If you want him to excel as a battlefield commander, you need to restore his fighting prowess. You don't want him to end up dead either, do you? What you must do is reconstruct the gauntlet that was destroyed by dark forces. I love how they tell you exactly what you need to do. So we gotta go to the other timeline, somehow find his gauntlet, and then put it, to put it together again. I see. You're right. That gauntlet is extremely significant to him. A certain part is needed to repair the gauntlet. I think the key to this is that lady. The one who always shows such concern for the lion. Shows for the lion, huh? What lady? Oh, Sonia. Sonia? True. She might be able to help. Where's my Sonia in real life right now? The part he needs is very rare. You will need to cross over many times to acquire one. Oh, no. Hmm. This may end up being the most difficult problem yet. I'm sure you'll be able to handle it with aplomb. Good luck to you. Rush in agony has been added to the White Chronicle. Rush is in agony. What do you do? You know what? We save the game. And then we cross over timelines. That's what we do to fix the situation. That's the best way to fix the situation. Go, go in time, my guy. That's all we got to do. Go back in time. So, my stomach is growling right now. <laughs> my stomach is absolutely grounding right now. So what we're going to do is go all the way back. Oh, look at that. We made no progress over here, bro. We made no pro we we are all the way back in chapter 2 right there. We're in chat. We're almost in chapter four. It looks like for here. So we need to go all the way. But look at that. Look at that work we got to do, man. And there's like so much love. All right, let's get it. So we're supposed to assassinate Princess Erica, huh? That's the mission. So that's what we're going to do. What do you know about her? I've heard she's quite a lady with beautiful golden tresses. Why do you think she's the mark and not Queen Protea? Good point. Protea holds all the real power in Grand Work. <laughs> yeah, Protea, the Protea, you know, the, the Tea that's that went pro. If the goal is to throw the country into chaos, she'd be a prime target. <laughs> Protea is uh, kind of ridiculous. Hey. Did you hear that the princess might be involved with the resistance? Uh, hey! Shh! 
What if the soldiers hear you talking like that, man? I ain't trying to get boot. You know, I ain't trying to get booted in the face. The soldiers I don't want to get booted here, but we did. <sighs> I think this thing is starting to make sense. Assuming that's true, then this could be quite a scandal in the making. Scandalous. It seems there's more to this than meets the eye. Yes, like Optimus Prime. Regardless, they made so many references. Should be to Holy secure cow. into the castle. The references make themselves in this game. Let's gather some intel first. All right, so we need to gra gather some intel. We're just gonna walk around town and just talk to people. And what am I eating? Hot pockets, hot dogs, pizza rolls, French fries. I got all that. I literally have all that available to me to eat, but I have to cook them. I have to spend like. At, uh, at minimum, I have to spend at least 20 minutes. <clears throat> if I really want to make them good. Well, hot dogs takes like seven, eight minutes, maybe. I heard Princess Erica and Queen Protea hate each other. It makes sense being that Protea is the late king's second wife, making her Erica's stepmother. Oh, I thought that was her actual mom. All right, so this bitch needs to die. She just can't, she married into the money. She just married into for the money. Oh yeah, bitch, you're done. I'm not gonna feel bad about killing you. I'm sorry, I'm afraid I don't know when we'll be stalking Erica's ring again. Stalking up. This should be fun. We ought to stock up. <laughs> Come on, there's gotta be another character's name we can make a pun out of. Oh, my stomach is rowing, my guy. It sounded like thunder. My stomach is... I made the biggest mistake today, guys. Before recording, I didn't eat any food. I don't know why I did it, but I was running out of time. I had came back from the grocery store. I got plenty of food in there. So that just didn't help my hunger. Hey. And I'm just sitting here dying of hunger playing games. If you know the whereabouts of a resistance member, report to us immediately. Consider it the civic duty of a citizen. If you don't, well, <laughs> you best weigh the consequences. Bruh, my stomach. Are you a swordsman? Then I recommend that weapon shop over there. It's pretty badass. They got a lot of high quality stuff. I'm sure you'll find something you fancy. I mean, they got this yo-yo weapon. They got a gun blade weapon. Welcome. They got a key blade weapon. It's insane. They got all kinds of crazy stuff. All kinds. I gotta recommend that you get that iron sword, my boy. No, that speed loss is too great. Oh, my stomach. Oh, my God. Just don't kill over. Ah, 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 ah. I get it. You're funny, bro. You're funny. It's getting rainy in here. Oh, my God. Look at that magic defense we get, though. Well, heavy mail is better than... It's only 2,300, too. But I feel like, I feel like we're going to find something good. But that increase with this cape, though. That cape gives them... I'm gonna give them magic defense. Yeah, I'm gonna give them that. Why not? My boy's got a lot of magic defense now. Armor for everybody else. Alright, here we go. Let's get out of here. Chat is demanding you eat something. Not eating to the point your stomach hurts. It isn't healthy and you can cause weight gain. I mean, that actually might be really good if you think about it. I need that weight gain. Mm. At the very least, I'm sure Noah of Alistair is a char charismatic leader. People think of Lady Erica, Sir Dias, or even Count Selvin, or Selvin when they think charismatic leaders. Leaders, leaders. I feel like if we go to that bar in the back with the vines, we should be good. <laughs> Welcome to Great Orc City! Isn't it a beautiful city? Yes! yes! I get paid to say this. Further down this road, you'll find the commercial district. The rank and file aren't allowed in, uh, but travelers from the outside are free to browse. Boy, I know you hot in that motherfucking cape, boy. I'm about to roast you. Old banana hair have an ass. But the loss is not for the better. Look at this. When these resistance banners strike, they strike against the public. And the public with the brought the swift painful justice. Uh, 
But we agree that acts of seda uh, sedation, sedition, sedation, and treason must not be tolerated. Um, this country has an underground movement opposing the queen called uh, the resistance. That person they captured is probably one of them. Damn. Um, um, I think he's gonna die. <laughs> they say that this is all for the good of the people, but these are transparent lies. A morally bankrupt monarch can only bring about a bankrupt monarchy. This country is circling the drain. It's over. There's no hope. Only despair. No hope. Despair. <laughs> no hope. Despair. I am. After they're done publicly beating them, they'll pro publicly execute them. What's happened to this country? There's no way the last king would have done this. What is happening? Yeah. All citizens support the words and ideals of Queen Protea. All her thoughts are the thoughts of their subjects. I don't know about all that, man. I don't feel that way. You trying to get executed? No, man. Yeah, man. I totally believe in everything now. <laughs> what you see here is the public beating of a traitor. Oh, are you a traveler? You probably should be seeing this then. <laughs> triggered. People in the chat are triggered. What you see here is the public beating of a traitor. Or that guy was captured inside the palace. I wonder how he got in. Also, why would he try and do something so stupid? He's a jackass. He deserves everything that he gets. I hope he dies for trying to steal 50 cents worth of candy from the store. Hey. Hey, you there. Uh-oh. Huh? What's shaking? What do you want? Hmm. <sighs> There's something about the cut of your jib I don't like. <laughs> Never mind. Bruh, he's got a quest for me. He's got a quest for me. Why is he questioning me? All right. Let's talk to him. Did you have something to say to me? Say it with your chest, man. Yeah. Well, yeah, actually. You look like a main character, and you look like you can help me out. What is your relationship to her? Huh? What? I don't understand. Enough! Don't play dumb with me. I saw you two together in the city. Do you mean aunt? Mm. Of course not. I'm talking about Lee's. I met her during my travels. That's all. Y yeah. I see. Oh, he trying to, he trying to get with that. He trying to hook up with your girl Lee's. Hey. Could you do me a favor? Could you bring her here? Enough! I need to see her. Just one more time, please. I'm begging you. I'm so thirsty, bro. Ah, please help me quench my thirst. Accept the job. I suppose I can do that for Matchmaker you. Matchmaker stock. I see. Thank you, bro. Thank you, man. Mankind and beast kind. Like, man. I'm tired of going through a dumpster for a used Playboy, man. Come on, man. You got to bring her over here, man. I'm tired of going behind the bathroom and rubbing one out, man! I need some play, man! <laughs> you don't want me to play around with myself, do you, man? What if soldiers came in and just took things without paying like the older place? Uh, this country is going more and more down here. Where, where is Lise? Hey, man, we got this soldier, man. Don't let, don't let him strong arm you, either. If you don't want to be with him, don't be with him. Lion, go eat. I can't eat. I gotta die for everybody's entertainment. I gotta, I gotta set the record straight. Streamers go through too much. They go through a lot. Oh, look at this. I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta stream regardless of how I feel. It won't last long. If I, if I stop streaming for even a minute, I will lose forty thousand subscribers. And I, I can't accept that. The reign of the late king, Victor, wasn't so great. But there weren't dead bodies littering the alleys either. I think we read that before. Lise, where are you? Say. I heard we lost the battle at that alma mine. Doesn't surprise me. They were just a bunch of untrained bullies with swords. <laughs> Damn, they roast. Damn. <laughs> is he dead? What is going on in this country? Probably save it, shouldn't I?
Hey man, I lost 40,000 subs overnight, my guy. I'm, I'm only at 75 subs on Twitch right now. <laughs> yeah. You're in the downtown area. There are lodgings for travelers here. They just up the north stairs if you need to make use of them. Yes. I haven't seen Lady Erica much recently. Maybe she's been confined to her room after fighting with Queen Protea. You know the Protea? Queen Protea? The Tea that went pro? <laughs> My husband's father used to work in the palace. I get to hear a lot of his behind the scenes stories. Yes. Like how Queen Protea is the Protea, the Tea that went pro. Mm hmm. She does a lot of things with a lot of men, if you know what I'm saying. My father says that Lady Erica was quite the tomboy when she was a little girl. Ah, oh, yeah, she actually kissed a girl or something I heard. Apparently, she would climb down the ivy from her balcony to sneak out of her room to meet up with her girlfriend. <laughs> it's pretty funny to imagine her trying that now. Uh, 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 uh. My dude actually gave us a hint. Hey, she's uh, not here either. Um. Excuse me, are you a traveler? My name is Hilster. I'm an aspiring chef and, uh. Please. I need your help with something. Would you mind listening to my request? Tell me. Well. My father, the court chef, is uh, going to taste my cooking. Uh, thank you very much for the bits, Multi. I'm trying to become the finest chef in the world. If I can't impress my father, I'm hopeless. That's correct. So I decided to complete the ultimate dish, one my father said was impossible to perfect. If I can actually make this dish, there's no way he wouldn't be impressed. A giant boar steak, sauteed in a credit style sauce. This is the impossible dish. Please. I shall make the impossible dish and become the ultimate chef alive. I was wondering if you could gather the ingredients to make it for me. Why don't you just ask a vendor? Wouldn't it <laughs> Thanks be quicker? For the Why don't you ask a vendor, bro? Wouldn't it be quicker? I gotta make it myself. I gotta make it with love. Ugh. <sighs> Unfortunately, I don't think I could get a vendor to source the ingredients now. The boar meat I need is the Lasville Hills and the vegetable are only sold in Cornet Village. Oh my god, I have to go get more boar meat and I have to go to Cornet Village, which we haven't been to yet. I see. The vendors, the vendors can't get those items for you due to the war. Why does this game have so much voice acting? This is actually OD. That's correct. The ingredients are basically separated by two armies at this point. Since Cornet Village is in Greynor controlled territory, I was able to get some vegetables, bro. Please. I need someone to get me the boar steak at the very least. I can get that. My father's supposed to meet me for the tasting pretty soon. I know that is kind of short notice, but I need this done as soon as possible. Sure, bro, I got you. Thank you very much. I'll research the secrets to the dish and conquer it. The ultimate dish has been added to the White Chronicle. All right, I think what we're gonna do here, guys, is save the game, take a break, and once we come back, pot, perhaps I will have some food in my stomach to prevent me from losing my my, uh, my mind. Losing my stomach too, I guess. So I'll see you guys soon for the next episode.